this handful of activists in the region's capital, Barnaul, are standing up for the green cause. They're protesting against plans to build a hydroelectric power station in the Katun River. Environmentalists say the project is a time bomb. Natural fields of mercury were found in the 90s under the riverbed, so the construction was frozen and the problem isn't about to go away. Altai born and bred, Vera Samikova is fighting a battle on two fronts. Besides the government's plans for the power station, Russia's Gazprom is hoping to lay a strategic pipeline through the region. The Altai is in high-risk seismic zone. The pipeline is likely to trigger man-made disasters and explosions. The population here is small, and not many will suffer, but the environment will. Gazprom's planned pipeline would pass through the Ukok Plateau, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Damage done to the serene wilderness and unique archaeological sites here would be irreversible. Gazprom vows the impact will be minimal. Our best response to critics will be the higher ecological standard of our work. Gazprom's very presence will be a great economic opportunity for the region. Even now, before the project is running, we're doing a lot to help bring gas to the Altai Republic. The battle over Ukok Plato gathered most publicity, but what many are forgetting is that there are people living all along the pipeline's path. Many in Gorni Altai had to sell their homes or face the fact their backyards will turn into a construction site. There will be roads, builders' housing and lots of traffic. If we don't get gas from the pipeline, we don't need it here. Since ancient times we've been hunting in these forests. If the pipeline comes, the animals will leave. But the government insists the pipeline must go through the Altai. According to a preliminary agreement, the pipeline will bring 3 billion rubles to the budget of our republic. It will provide new jobs and bring gas to villages all over. Yet despite this confident attitude, Altai's history of environmental hardship can't help but spring to mind. Decades of nuclear tests at the nearby border with Kazakhstan, broken levees and flooding of 1992, an earthquake of 1993. How much more can this region take before its age-old beauty is washed away? If something happens, we have nowhere else to go. This is our home, and we want it safe. Anastasia Khairulina, RT Altai.